This weekend, the Des Moines Metro was hit with some extreme flooding, and that high water did wipe out some businesses and homes. KCCI's Adam Brower found there are some people who are still cleaning up. Station Steve, I spoke with the owner of a building on Merle Hay Road who says the floods last year caused thousands of dollars in damage, and most of that money came from her own pocket. The first thing we saw was water pouring out this window. It's a moment Deb Howdle doesn't want to relive. I just kind of cringe. There's nothing else I can really do. Five feet of water gushed like a raging river from these windows on Merle Hay Road and Urbandale Avenue. Took this one set of windows out all the way down to here. Took this wood wall out. The cleanup still underway. Dried up leaves and dirt line the walls of this empty commercial space. There was mar you could see the debris on the, the brick before we painted it again. I mean, you can still see actually there's a piece of little debris there. But Howdle yeah. and her husband own the building that houses businesses and apartments. One tenant called and said she had water coming in the back patio door, which is nine inches off the ground. Of her 24 commercial spaces here, all but one had water damage, including this grocery store. It took out this door. And it came, all the water came down here. Water swept down this alley with nowhere to go. It was no match for this small drain or even this door. But for Howdle, the flood damage wasn't her only problem. There was no insurance coverage. It was dig in your pocketbook and find the money. New floors, walls, and electric systems show the progress Howdle and her family have made. But she says there's still a lot of work to be done. I've done a lot of research on flood insurance and I technically can't get anything to cover the building. Now coming up at six, I'll tell you what the city of Des Moines is doing to prepare for future flooding. Steve.